It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show, sponsored by Kia. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the NBA three-point contest on 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Here we have our competitors. There will be no defense to contend with tonight for these outstanding three-point shooters. Just the league's best marksmen getting ready to go head-to-head. -to -head. Shaq, I know this is one of your favorite events of All-Star Weekend. What's the key to a guy winning this contest against the rest of the league's best shooters? Well, I don't know what you asked me first, Ernie. I'm not a shooter, however. I know you I've, like competition. Yes, That's why. I've been to all of them. Quit I've, asking I, me why I ask you questions I, I, first. I apologize, boss. But to answer your question. And stop calling me boss. Yes, sir. <laughs> but to answer your question. I know that as a shooter, if you get hot and get that momentum and, and start to hey, get Hey, that's enough out balls, of you, Kenny. Why don't you answer that question? My favorite event for All-Star Weekend is the game itself. When you have all the stars together. Nah. Huh? This is a shooting contest. Oh, I'm sorry. Big dummy. Play uh, attention. I, oh, How I, am I supposed to work with these two? It says the rest of the league. How am shooting? I supposed to work with these two? It it's All-Star Weekend. We've been really, really busy. How am I supposed to work with these I'm two? I'm tired from I'm going to Kenny's party all uh, night. Oh, oh yeah, God. me too. Oh, my God. That thing was crazy. Oh, I love Thanks for DJing, yeah. Shaq. You got oh, you. Oh, that, was, that, wasn't, that wasn't Shaq. That was me. Oh, that was you behind the wheels of steel? DJ Ernie J. That was me. Kevin Harlan, back to you. Welcome to All-Star Action, everyone. Kevin Harlan, happy to be here with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And now it's time for the Foot Locker three-point contest. The long-range assassins of the NBA have come together to show off their skills from beyond the arc. For a lot of folks, this is actually their favorite All-Star event. There's a lot of drama. It always seems to come down to the wire. And let's get it on. Anytime you get the best shooters in the NBA together to duke it out, it's going to be a special night. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. High racks, 25 balls, 60 seconds. There are nine money balls in total, each worth two points. The last ball on each rack and also an entire rack of money balls, which comes last. And that's why you can't waste any time. It's critical to get that last rack with enough time to shoot in rhythm. So often we see just a few misses in a row totally derail the play. It has that snowball effect if you let it. All the more reason your only thought as a shooter could be on your next shot, not the previous one, whether it's a miss or a make. Can't get the money ball. Now 20, 22. And young fella, Clay really making it look easy out there. Almost everything fell for him. 28 points. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. Yeah, it was a terrific start. He was feeling it from the get-go. And here we go with C.J. McCollum. Just over two seconds a shot is all you've got if you're going to use all 25 balls. So there's no time to take a deep breath and gather yourself after a miss. Yeah, that's why I think you want to just get into a good rhythm. No matter what your usual tempo might be, you've got to keep rolling through the rags as fast as possible. Well, in a row, what more can you say? This is unreal. Does he ever miss? And now he's getting it done. One after another, after another. How in the world is he doing it? Perfection for the fourth rack in a row. Now 26, 28, 30. A jaw-dropping 32 points for the round. Well, how about that performance, guys? Man, nice work. And when his streak of made buckets got well into double digits, all you could say was, wow. And here we go with Kyle Corbin. Something the shooters have to avoid here is over-adjusting if the shots aren't falling. Yeah, you don't want to start altering your release point or, or anything like that. Even if things aren't going well, that can hurt you a whole lot more than it can help. Nine points. Nothing to it as Corbin has got it. Oh. Tremendous. Cooley knocks down his fifth straight. That's a streak of seven in a row. He's finding that touch. 19 to score. Former just a born shooter and, and is looking great with this round. 20 
22. 24. He posts a big number. 24 points. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell it was, it was going to be special. And he knocked down five out of the nine money balls. Pretty good. So here's Richardson now. You know, the importance of getting into a rhythm early can't be understated. I mean, it's not a make one, miss one kind of deal. You need to get on the roll. You're on point there. I mean, ebbs and flows are not a good thing in the three-point contest. It's all about being steady. That's two good racks for him back to back. He's got 12. And for 13. He's got to finish strong. He's got 16. Make it 17. You betcha. Six more points to stick around. He's four for four on Moneyball. Up to 22. 24. Now 26. And he finishes with 28 points on a round. Not bad at all. Well, how about that performance, guys? Man, nice work. He racked up the points on his bunny balls, only missed one. So it'll be J.R. Smith here. Man, he needs 28 just to stay in the mix. Not easy. Man, it's going to take something beyond special to put up a score that can match that. He's going to have to be just about perfect the rest of the way. On the money. Seven points. Unless he improves quickly, things are not looking good for him. He's got 10. Has to get a strong finish here. This is where he needs to show that clutch instinct. And that's his fourth straight. Up to 15 now. How about that? Three of four on money balls. And powering to the finish. He needs six more points. And Clark, he's out. Not enough to make the next round, Kevin. Yeah, all academic from this point. He runs his total all the way up to 26 points. Ordinarily, that'd be good enough, but there are some great scores, guys, out there today. So it's James Harden ready to go. When Harden came into the league, people were unsure if he'd be able to shoot with range in the NBA. He started out a little slow, but he's become quite the score and sharpshooter. And a lot of people thought that would be the case. It was just a matter of when. And some stiff competition. He's got to hit 28 to stay in contention. And a tough score to match. We'll see how he does. He'd better heat up soon. Two racks remaining. Hits for 15. Very little room for error now. He can't miss more than one of his remaining shots. Oh, Harden starting to feel it. Five more points to stay in it. And with that, he's not going to advance. Couldn't get enough through in the first few racks. Yeah, better luck next time, big fella. A massive score of 27 points. He can't be upset with him. That score is usually good enough, but it was a terrific, I mean a terrific round for, for just about everybody else. McCollum's got the bar set pretty high for himself in the finals after pulling away the competition in the first round, guys. I think we've seen an outstanding competition so far. I mean, the scores have been tremendous. Excellent shooting, uh, really, across the board. This has been high-quality stuff. So it's Clay Thompson ready to start here. He's got to go first here in the finals because he had the lowest score to qualify, but he made it in. That's the important thing. Now with 11. He's hit all three money balls. Now 14 hits for 15. Chalk it up, his fourth in a row. Now he gets the money rack. Seven straight, he's stringing them together. 23. He's at 25. And a score of 27 points for the round. What, what an unbelievable round. Right away you could tell it was, it was going to be special. You wouldn't expect anything less out of him. I mean, this contest is perfectly suited for him. So here's Richardson now. Two points. Now we're talking. Nearly perfect there. Just one miss on the wrap. Six. That's seven. Great mechanics there. And he buries his fifth in a row. Wasting little time. He's got 12. Yeah. Hang on tight. That's nine. 11 in a row. It's a barrage of three. His 12th straight. He cannot miss. This is unreal. Does he ever miss? Six points more and it's tied. 23. He's at 25. Up to 27. That's four in a row now. And a terrific score. 31
on points. Wow, that was something else, guys. We don't see too many performances like that. Yeah, he had a great rhythm at the end. He hit his last five in a row. And here we go with C.J. McCollum. He knows how many points it's going to take to be crowned the champion. Let's see if we can get it done. I tell you what, fellas, 32 to win. He'll have to be just about perfect. He'll just about have to hit every shot now. That's seven. He got three points off that rack. Not bad. He's got ten. That's the stuff. And he buries his fifth in a row. Mm -hmm. Three good racks in a row, shooting it well. Oh, and with that miss, he's out. Unlucky here in the final round. Yeah, just couldn't get enough to go. And he pulls 24 for the round. That'll do it for this year's Foot Locker three-point contest. There are very few players from any era capable of performing the way this year's champion did tonight. He was outstanding. What a commando performance by our champion. Once he got rolling, the only question was, who's getting second? Yeah, I mean, he, he deserves all the credit in the world for that one. I mean, to come out on top against a feel like this, sensation. And the drama the excitement this year's three-point contest had it all it was our pleasure to bring it to you every shot terrific to watch now this is kevin harlan saying so long for clark kellogg and greg anthony thank you and good night